I'm Sir James L. Thornhill, Director of Engine Number 9 Historical Mural Project, muralist and artist. Being a resident of Jackson Ward, born and raised here, my goal is to make sure before all these changes come through Richmond, through Jackson Ward in particular, that we honor the, our past. Now the murals that we're doing, when you Google Jackson Ward History now, you're starting to see the murals. Um, by doing this mural, which is going to be right around the corner um, at the Mocha Temple building. And when you look at the neighborhood, and you look at the murals, and you look at the work, it shows that somebody cares about this neighborhood. And I think that that resonates throughout the community. So I think that has a very positive uh, effect and impact on young people and old people and visitors that come through the city. It shows that people care about what's happening in Jackson. In the African American community, we have very few things that represent us. And the key is, is that all of the paintings, it, it's a reminder and it's a lesson, an individual lesson to young people as to who we are and where we come from. So having the mural, it helps our young people to come by and to see what it was like to remind them, hey, somebody paved the way for me and these were the gentlemen and females that paved the way for us to be here today. I had the honor to work with two of the first black firefighters, Captain Page and Lieutenant Bell. nationalities in the fire service doing many things in one of those fire departments. Right now, who our kids going to look up to? When the kids see these firefighters, when the kids see these other historical people from this area that look like them, it gives them something to aspire to. I have a sense of pride personally when I see Mr. Thorne here's work and the fact that we're showing our heritage and what it means to us. It just means a lot to me. So I'm grateful to you for thinking of honoring these men that uh, helped lead and start the way This project really gives us a sense of who we are and a sense of belonging. We're doing historical preservation, educational opportunity, and we put flyers throughout the community to make sure that uh, that the community get involved. When we do the dedication ceremony, all the community members are going to be invited. All our stakeholders, all our partners are going to be invited. So it's going to be a grand affair to finally honor these guys in live, living color. When people come to visit this city, they know what rich history we have here.